Meanwhile, the Hollywood writer strike may be nearing an end. Elise Preston joins us from Los Angeles, where negotiations are currently underway. Good evening, Elise. Jerika, good evening to you. Hollywood has been talking about an okay. imminent deal for several days. This as studio heads from Warner Brothers, Disney and Netflix are all part of ongoing discussions. A Hollywood ending? That's the hope in Tinseltown as negotiations between the Writers Guild of America and television and film producers continued for a fifth consecutive day today. Fingers, toes, eyes, like everything crossed for a resolution. Following a marathon negotiation session Saturday, media outlets, including Variety, reported that producers presented the WGA with their best and final offer. We're hearing that they're close, but perhaps not as close as some of the press reports, uh, which, uh, which have suggested that it's all down to the drafting by the lawyers. Unresolved issues are the regulation of artificial intelligence, staffing minimums for writers' rooms, and the distribution of residuals. We're prepared to stay out and keep staying out. But yes, I really do hope it's over. Today is day 146 of the WGA strike, which has put more than 11,000 TV and film scribes on the sidelines. Once this deal is struck, studios will then need to make a deal with the actors, who have been on strike since July. The combined work stoppages have cost the California economy an estimated $5 billion. It's only once both strikes have been settled that everyone will be able to proclaim the end and the business of show can go on. Right now, the strike is the second longest works for Hollywood writers ever. If a deal isn't struck this week, it could become the longest. Jerika. Elise Preston reporting for, for, for us in Los Angeles. Thank you. Hey!